I'm here today at Gum Slough Springs and Gum Slough Spring Run. I'm Kim rass I'm a senior environmental scientist with Southwest Florida Water Management District. The last couple of years, every April and October, I come out here and take pictures in the same location on the spring run. When I was here in April, we were in pretty severe drought conditions and the flows were really low. The head springs was not really flowing. And in the beginning of the spring run, we had to walk because there was only a couple of inches of water. Rainfall is, you know, the most important driver of springs. And we had our normal rainy season, so flows were starting to rise, which is a, a natural situation. But then Hurricane Irma really increased the flows in all of our spring runs, you know, or all of our springs uh, throughout the district. Droughts and hurricanes are a natural part of Florida's weather, so the systems are used to and are adapted to, you know, living with high and low flows. My grandfather purchased it back uh, like 50 years ago. It's very fortunate that um, the district has a really good relationship with Judy Smith, the landowner of the Head Springs. I've been real pleased working with the Water Management District. I feel like I have an intimate connection with this that comes from daily connecting. You guys have more of a connection from statistics and data collection. So here we're measuring the flow across the channel and then the instrument averages the flow that's collected. Working together to preserve is what we're going to all need to be. Today the spring looks great. It's flowing at the head springs. There's plenty of water in the spring run all the places in April that were dry. It's fun kayaking today. It's kind of like being on a roller coaster ride. It's really neat to see it at high flows.